In today's video guys I will show you how you can optimize your CPU for ultimate gaming and performance. This will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, as well as any low-end, mid, or high-end PC and laptop, helping you increase FPS, reduce input latency, and fix any stutters within the games that you play. So without wasting time guys let's dive into video. We are going to start off with basic CPU optimizations. These are going to help you just a tiny bit with the overall improvement in CPU performance. But remember that these small changes, if done right, can combine to provide a much more impactful result on FPS and overall latency improvements as well. So guys go to settings and then to the gaming section. Make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off. I know some of you might use it for clipping games, but it actually impacts performance by running in the background. You can use alternatives like OBS or Nvidia Shadowplay instead. Just disable the Xbox game bar. Then, move on to the game mode setting and make sure this is turned on. Game mode has been improved with each Windows update, so it's worth enabling. Now, go to graphics settings. In graphics settings, Choose an APP to set preference by clicking on Browse to locate the executable file for your specific game. For example, if you're playing Fortnite, find the Fortnite game executable and set it to high performance. In the next step, Right-click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Then, go inside the startup tab and disable any of the software that you don't want to start up with your Windows. Don't worry, this will not affect the functionality of any of these applications. It will just prevent them from booting up along with Windows, which will improve your boot up time and decrease the load on your CPU right after startup giving you more CPU resources for your games. Go through this whole list and disable any applications that you don't require. To disable one, simply click on the application and then click on the disable button. Now, let's move on to some advanced settings that will have a greater impact on performance. First, I want you to disable high precision event timer. To disable it, open device manager. Go to system devices, find HPT, right click and select Disable Device. HPT is an inbuilt Windows tool for synchronizing multimedia playback, but can take away CPU power needed for gaming. In the next step, let's adjust the boot time per application and for launching Windows in general. This affects the time it takes from when you turn on your computer, going from a black screen to logging in with your PIN or password. Type System Configuration and open it. Go to the Boot tab and select Advanced Options. Set the number of processors to the maximum. This ensures that your CPU is fully utilized during startup. Next, adjust the timeout setting. The standard is 30 seconds, but you can reduce it to 10 seconds for faster boot times if you have a mid to high-end PC. If you're using a laptop or a low-end PC, set it to 20 seconds instead. Adjust gradually and test each time. If your computer crashes, that's a sign you've loud it too much. Testing allow a timeout is worthwhile. For me, setting it to 10 seconds allows for near instant launches into games and a boot time of under 3 seconds. Once you've set your preferred options, hit apply. Here we got our free gear up booster FPS boost. I have given the link below in the description. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here. Open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the Gear Up Booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So, guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this Boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this Launch Game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Another simple tweak I want you to try. Open Task Manager, head over to Services, and scroll all the way down. Look for Xbox or Manager, Xbox Gam Save, Xbox JRPSVC, and Xbox Net. You'll want to disable these three. Personally, 
I don't use the Xbox control panel, and most of you watching this likely don't need it either. If you're using Xbox Game Bar for recording clips, it's best to turn that off as well. I'll explain more in a second, but first, right click on each one and select stop. That's all you need to do for each of them. Once you finish, you'll need to restart at the end of the video, which is completely fine. This stops these services from running in the background. Small tweaks like these can make a noticeable difference to your PC's performance, so I highly recommend giving this a try. Now the next step, you need quick CPU on your PC. Download this from my Discord server. Link is in description. Now simply open up this file and install the quick CPU on your PC. Here is the interface of quick CPU. This is actually used for the optimization of your CPU. Now you need to go for the signal icon, which includes high performance, balance performance, and minimum performance. Select it to the maximum performance of your CPU. This will enable all these options. Hit accept and save the settings. The next step, here you will find your utilization, temperature, clock speed, and power data. Go for this power plan option and set it to quick CPU scheme. Now here you will find a power mode, so go for it and set it to maximum performance. Once you enable these settings, you will find your CPU data, like your GPU, processor name, code name, and all the other details. Now, simply scroll down and go toward your core parking. Set it to 100%. Frequency scaling, set it to 100%. Then, turbo boost, set it to 100%. Go for p and &E core policy, and set it to heterogeneous policy performance. Set it to 100%. Now, go for this A or D, and simply set it to AC. After that, hit apply and save the settings on your PC. Once you apply all the settings, go for these advanced CPU settings. Now, go for all control. There you will find a journal. Turn on turbo boost. Enhance speed step and turn it on. By directional pro, enable this option. Now here you will find clock modulation. Simply turn at the settings. Now, set the performance energy policy to high performance. Set the core limit and ratio turbo power long duration to turn on. Set turbo power short duration to turn on. Set clamp limit 1 to turn on and turn of clamp limit 2. After that, click on the apply button and apply these changes in the quick CPU application. After all these settings guys restart your PC. So guys that was today's video I hope you liked this. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe my channel for more helpful videos. Peace out.